Uh, now let's take a step back to the films where we learn... Always to their off. That was Yoda, by the way. <laughs> Please welcome Ian McDermott and Hayden Christian. scene that isn't deliciously evil. The one that stands out for me is in Revenge of the Sith, and that's when we all get to go to the opera. George will George remember that uh, he wrote that scene originally in another office, and I kept getting bigger and bigger offices all the time as I got more and more powerful, because you know that's what happens. Um, and then he said, no, I think we should go somewhere else for a change. So we went to a theatre, and the reason I like doing that so much, because I'm a theatre actor too, but more than that, um, Hayden and I could really sit down, and from my point of view anyway, have an evil chat. <laughs> and I think, George, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's one of the longest dialogue scenes in the whole of the saga. Um, and I was allowed to tell a story, you know, and really, really connect. Um, so that was exciting too. Fabulous, fabulous. Hey, tell us what it was like working with Ian, a hugely experienced actor. Were you intimidated at all? Oh, I... <laughs> working with, with Ian was, was uh, just a, a real treat and a privilege. I mean, uh, everyone knows that he's, he's such an amazing actor, but uh, he's also an incredibly generous actor and, uh, and really kind of took me under his wing and, and, and uh, was just very caring and, and, and giving and, uh, and I owe a lot of, of what I was able to accomplish in, in episode three to, to being able to work with Ian. Um, Ian. You know, that scene that he's talking about was one of my favorites. Uh, uh, and I just, I remember just being so enraptured with, with the story that he was telling that I almost forgot that I was acting in the scene. I was like, oh no, I gotta do my part now too. But it was just, it was, you know, he's so captivating in, in, in his work and uh, it was, it was amazing. Well, it's, it's a truism that uh, older actors learn from younger actors too. And working with him was a great learning experience. to Ian's acting and how great he is, is he's the nicest, loveliest, <laughs> kindest, sweetest guy in the world. <laughs> he is nothing at all like the Emperor. That's right. Maybe occasionally. <laughs> so hey, not only did you deliver a brilliant acting performance, but also your lightsaber battle at the end of Revenge of the Sith was epic. For that final battle. Yeah, sure, of course. I, I, uh, I mean, all, all of the lightsaber work was was some of my, you know, favorite parts of getting to, to play this character and be a part of the Star Wars world. Uh, you know, it was just a, a childhood dream come true. Um, but I will share with you one of my my challenges. Uh, you know, I had sort of uh, been conditioned from a very young age to make the sound effect when I was. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, I know this is something that you and maybe struggle with a little bit, too. Uh, 
but it was it was a difficult habit to break. And I remember on a couple of occasions, George, you you would come over after we had filmed a, a fight scene, and you know, in a very encouraging way, you would say, "Hey, you know, that looks really great, but I can see your mouth moving." And, you don't have to do that. We had the sound effects in afterwards. And I, you know, I was just so focused, I wasn't even aware I was doing it. But, uh, you know, still to this day, I pick up a lightsaber and I just, I can't help it. It just happens. <laughs> Ewan and Hayden were so brilliant at it, and they practice every morning. Um, and I used to occasionally see them when I popped in to practice a little. Um, but the extraordinary thing about it was, well, every time we did the takes, there must have been about 20, probably more, they did the whole sequence, which was absolutely extraordinary. And when you see it in the movie, it's terrific, but it necessarily is edited and split up. And I used to say they should take their sabers, both of them, and get on the road to show how brilliant fighters they really were. <laughs> First meeting with George and how he described this character to you. Oh yeah, well he didn't. <laughs> George, George doesn't go in for lengthy explanations, which is great. We met very briefly over lunchtime with Richard Markman. This is, of course, Return of the Jedi, and uh, I was very pleased to, to meet them both. Thrilled, of course. Um, and then we said our polite goodbyes, and I went back home. The phone was ringing. My agent said, "You've got the part." I said, "Oh, well, that's great." Uh, What's the part? <laughs> and he went, you know, agents do, leafing through piles of, you know, papers, and they said, oh, apparently he's called the Emperor of the Universe. <laughs> so I said, oh, well, I guess we're doing it then. And, uh, and from then on, it was makeup, hood, yellow eyes, and, and, the, and the script. And I think most of my information, and most actors would agree about this, came from the script. Although George was always around and very helpful, but of course he wasn't specifically directing that movie. That was, that was Richard. Uh, and of course I got to go on doing it. And when we met again, uh, before the prequels, um, George was there wearing a very similar shirt to, uh, <laughs> to the one he's wearing today. And, and he said, oh, can we get you a drink? Uh, I said, well, I'll just... Uh, um, I thought I'll have a water. So, and then he said, do you know anybody who wants to play an emperor? So I said, yeah, yeah, that's me. And uh, that was the audition for, for, the, for the prequels. And then he said, uh, there are two characters, the character you play in this is he's Palpatine, of course, and he's a hypocritical politician, you know, we've all got to start somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, but there's this other character, and he didn't tell me the name, you know, he's in the background, he does this and he does that. And I thought, I'd really like to have played that other character. And then I got the script and I realised I was playing both of them. <laughs> and so did you eventually, apparently. George, isn't there a story you were particularly taken with Ian's nose, though? Oh, well, you, you I... You write his, look at his profile now, it's quite a I point. think you deny this. When we, <laughs> when we left that very short and agreeable meeting in the doorway, uh, you said, hey, great nose. <laughs> and, and I thought, oh, well, maybe that means I'm going to get somewhere. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you both for being so brilliant here today. Thank you.